Hey YouTube, hey subscribers, new subscribers, old subscribers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie Shea. Today I'm doing another Throwback Thursday video for you. Since last week I did one, I kind of like, kind of liked it. It was kind of cool to reminisce and bring out some old videos for my new subscribers. So this video actually is not exactly a remake. I uploaded this video back when I went on this trip, which was in August of 2016. So almost three years now, uh, this video has been deleted from my channel. I deleted it because I didn't think it was very good. I thought it was kind of boring and I don't know, I just felt like didn't feel right about it. I do that every once in a while. I've been wanting to re-upload it for the past three years. I always have it on my list of videos, but I just kind of get caught up in new things. So I think now is a good time to re-upload this video and relive this experience with you guys. It was a unique experience and I am not joking you, I've never been on a fishing trip like this in my life. And I haven't been on a fishing trip like this since then. And I just think it was such a great thing for me to do because it was so different. I don't know if I'd want to do it again. I, I Going back and looking at the videos, I'm like, yes, I definitely want to do this again. But um, perhaps I would do it in a different way. Well, let me explain what I did. So. I went to San Diego, California to do a long range fishing trip offshore with a, a group of ladies. It was a ladies trip. The um, charter I went with was called Searcher Sport Fishing and they do all types of long range trips and they're all group trips. So it's, you're fishing with, you know, anywhere from I think 10 to 20, 30 people maybe. Um, on this trip, I forgot how many women were there, but I want to say over 20 women were fishing on this trip. I had never done anything like this before. I've never gone offshore to stay overnight. I've never gone on a long range, uh, a group fishing trip. I never, I've never fished. I had never fished before this with, uh, you know, a group of people out in the back of the boat, all with lines going out for, to fish. A lot of, um, weaving up, you know, ducking over and under people and, you know, getting tangled and stuff like that. So that's kind of the reason why I wouldn't want to do it again. But it was so fun because of the people that I met and the experience that I got fishing a different way. In this video, I take you from start to finish. So the whole process of getting on a long range boat with a group of people and getting into your bunk and, and setting up your stuff and then, you know, meeting everyone and Captain Art, uh, who owns the, the charter fishing fleet, he kind of gives you a little a little lesson in the beginning. He was an awesome, awesome captain. So from start to finish, you see what it's like in the beginning. Uh, how we get the bait was even different than anything I've ever done before in, on the East Coast, uh, which you'll see clips of in the video. From getting bait to fishing off the back and the people I was with, I was with a bunch of, um, older women. I was the youngest one on the trip. Yeah, yeah, I was the youngest girl on the trip. And I was the only one from Florida. So I, I was kind of like the oddball of the group, but it was really cool because all the ladies were so nice and they were so funny and they all had a passion for fishing. I have tons of clips of older ladies, elderly ladies reeling in big tuna and it's just awesome. I'm like, I loved it. I go from fishing on the boat to bringing the fish back and weighing it, which you'll see the weight of the biggest fish caught on the trip. Um, and then in California, I remember back then I heard it was illegal to clean your own fish or something weird like that. Like you can't clean your own fish there. So you have to go to a processor to get your fish clean and packed there. So I go from start to finish all the way to the end. You can see the processing of the fish and how they cleaned it and vacuum sealed it and it was just such a cool experience. I also caught my first bluefin and yellowfin tunas on this trip. My bluefin was 33 pounds, my yellowfin was 35 pounds. So let's get to the video. I'll see you guys at the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it and here it is.
so somebody wound me in. Katie wound me in.
my husband used to do that. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. And the guy actually got caught. You're pulling down on it. He's fucking with us. How much is it? 60 miles! We were. Was there one without a tag? back when three years ago almost now when I wasn't as good at filming and I wasn't as comfortable with the camera even so I didn't I probably if I went now I would have gotten a much better video back when I had my GoPro 4 and you know I've been doing the YouTube fishing for a long time now so definitely improved I think since then anyway I hope you enjoyed that video look forward for new videos I will see you guys in my next video